All right, hey, I wanted to record a follow-up to the one wheel because this is the first time I've ever tried anything like this. And for some reason leading up to buying it, I didn't think about the learning curve. I didn't think about anything regarding learning and becoming comfortable and familiar with the one wheel. All I had in my head was me riding it with no issues, no worries whatsoever, and Riley running next to me. And I just imagined that right after receiving the product, we would be doing that very quickly. I have no idea why I thought that way. The very first time I tried it uh, was definitely scary actually, because I've never ridden a skateboard before. I've never done anything remotely similar. And um, I was not able to really get the board going and it was really really frustrating for me because i did two maybe 20 minute sessions uh two days in a row and i couldn't get the board to move normally and what i realized and it was really annoying to feel like i wasted my time but it was because i was wearing the wrong types of shoes so the type of shoe i was wearing is a pair of nikes and I guess the way that the shoe is, is that it's flat like this, but towards the tip of the toe, it curves up. So I wasn't getting good contact on the front foot pad, which means that it was detecting most likely the toe portion of the half. Hopefully people can follow. So basically the foot pad is, it's divided in half. There's the side of your heel and then there's the side on your toe. Both sides needs to be detected for it to engage the motor. So what would happen is I would be balancing, I would be seesaw, and then I would wanna start, and then I would be balancing, and I would hear it engage for a split second, and then it would stop. Or it would move forward for like one second, and then it would stop, and it was driving me crazy. Oh my God, this is wrong. Cool. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is the balance needs to be there first. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I'm seesawing again. <laughs> People are like, oh shit, I went really close to the curve. And also half the time I was like seesawing back and forth because the motor was not engaging. So I was thinking, what the hell am I doing wrong? And then I changed my shoes and then I was able to ride completely different than the first two times that I tried it out. So shoes is very, very important. And actually I don't feel like I have an ideal pair on me right now because even though I have a pair that I've been wearing that gives me decent results, I feel like my foot is gradually slipping off. Um, and I can, t I, I just feel like my foot is gradually moving as I'm riding from the bumps and from just trying to um, maneuver around on the board. So that's definitely something I need to get. I haven't gotten it yet, but I wanna see what kind of difference in feeling I can get. But I will admit right now, Still, every single time I ride, I am very, very scared. I'm very nervous and I don't feel relaxed because I feel like there might be a moment where I'm cruising comfortably and then all of a sudden my ankles start wobbling like crazy. And then if I don't get that under control, I could fall and really hurt myself. I've done a pretty decent job at not falling much lately. And I always wear knee pads, helmet, I wear wrist guards because I know that I'm not comfortable enough yet to not wear any of those things and I don't wanna hurt myself. But um, I did a like 30 minute ride yesterday and I do a combination of uphill and downhill because it is California. There's a lot of hills around here, you can't avoid it. And I don't wanna just stick to a cul-de-sac. I wanted to do a ride in a sense, like going, eh, traveling, <laughs> being on a journey. Yeah, I just felt really, really nervous the entire time. And uh, that makes it really stressful for me because I feel like once I decide, okay, I'm done riding for today, um, I'm usually pretty relieved because that entire time I'm riding, I'm just scared to death. I 
think for the most part right now, I'm definitely trying to work on dismounting. I was looking at this one video and he was talking about getting rid of the wobbles and um, leg fatigue. So obviously if you're trying to ride really stiff, then your ankles and your feet will get really sore because all of those muscles are constantly working to maintain that position. So he was saying that if you carve, then your, your muscles are like moving and then like they're, they're engaging and then disengaging, engaging and then disengaging. And then when that happens, then there's more um, diversity in what muscles are working and they are kind of like sharing the load and it's not all working at the same time, if that makes any sense. So I do try to do that sometimes, but I have my moments where I feel like, oh crap, I'm like losing control or um, yeah, there's just a lot of combinations of things. I still need to ride a lot more. I did try a ride with Riley two days ago And I think that was probably a mistake. I mean, it, I didn't fall or anything, but I was not feeling confident at all. And I don't think I should be including her in my rides until I am confident. And it's not, it has nothing to do with her. She's really, really good at positioning herself well. She never pulls and she's just great when it comes to those activities. The main thing is just that I'm already nervous and then her presence adds on even more to me feeling more nervous so um, that's something that yeah I should probably hold off on until I feel really good about it and also one thing that she tends to do that I still need to figure out a better workaround is she has her moments where when she's in motion um, she poops and there was a moment during my ride where she pooped and I had her leash in my hand so I was like I was trying to make sure I held it on the tip that way if I felt the pull it wouldn't like really make me lose my balance but I feel like the moment her, she tugged out of my hand I still felt like oh crap this is happening and that was a moment there that was a scenario that I was imagining myself that I would be scared about because depending on how hard that pull ends up being um, as a new rider, I would definitely feel like I might lose control after that. So I feel like I dismounted poorly. The very beginning, I was dismounting so poorly. I was doing the splits all the time, which means that when I'm trying to stop, sometimes I wasn't able to control it well. And instead of my left foot staying on it and doing a simple stop, I was leaving my right foot on it and i i usually do right foot forward so that means that the board kept trying to move forward while i'm leaving my left foot on the ground so my legs just go like this and my hips just hurt and uh my legs were hurting for a lot of days and um it was really not pleasant uh i haven't been doing that as much lately but i still don't necessarily like the feel of simple stop just because yeah, I know that technically um, when you stop, your front foot still needs to uh, disengage on one side. And I think that's a problem that I was not doing where I would just lean back and let the board touch the ground, but my front two feet were still engaged, which meant that th there would be moments where I could feel the tire was still moving. And then that could be a little bit freaky when you think that you're stable, but it's still trying to go for a short moment. And uh, I did... Whenever I was watching the videos about this product before I got it, a lot of people were talking about that. And yeah, I, I feel like I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I will continue using it for now until I feel more comfortable. And then hopefully later on, I can try a different dismount method because yeah, I don't think I'm the biggest fan of it. I don't know if I necessarily feel like I'm having fun with it yet, just because I am very nervous every time I'm riding, but I do really like the thought of using it with Riley, so I'm gonna keep up with it. Although, I, I'll probably avoid doing it every day. For a while, I was trying to do it every day, but my legs need a break. <laughs> I think my, my mind being nervous and stressed from it needs a break once in a while. So maybe I'll ride every other day or um, a couple days in a row and then I'll give myself a break. But um, 
yeah, still trying to ease into it and um, that's pretty much my update. <laughs> donkey <laughs> hi donkey all right hi so I'm in the middle of a ride right now and I'm getting nervous um, I have a few issues wobbling which I know you're supposed to carve a little bit to try to ease your leg muscles a little bit but I'm wobbling a lot right now it's making me scared um, another thing is I need better shoes I can feel my shoes slightly slipping as I'm riding and I just feel like less and less confident in my stance and and in how well my feet are gripping the one wheel so I need to get better shoes grippy skateboarding shoes I guess but um, yeah gotta keep practicing my stopping isn't really that great yet either because right now I'm using simple stop I don't know if I like it very much but I think I'm gonna stick with it because double foot dismounting makes me very nervous I don't think I want to try that at all yet and um, yeah I just every time I ride right now I'm scared I'm nervous it's uh, not a great combination but I can't get over that until I practice more so I got to keep riding 